I really don't know how I be doing certain stuff. Because your girl be battling poverty line for real, for real. Today is the day that I get to actually see my new apartment. Mind you, kind of nervous because I've never seen my apartment just a few days before relocating. So this is relatively new. So yeah, but they're good people. You know, that's what I was looking for. Ultimately, you know, people that just were attentive. That's why I'd rather give my rent money too. So that was a big factor. And I just want to make this place vacationy all the time. And I'm good at making a home, but I want to make like the vibe of a vacation home. So, I'm going to, of course, pray over my unit and just be sure everything's in working order. Oh, a whole bunch of emotions right now. whole bunch. So, okay. Not sure if I will show anything, but I'll give you my reaction afterwards, if anything. We're here. Checked everything out, you know, because one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some before and after pic pictures for sure. So, just got done doing that. Just still trying to get the vision of the things and all of the sorts. So, it's gonna look so nice when I'm done decorating and so forth. And I'm excited. Oh, is this my little thing? How do you get the oh yeah I'm about to deck this little situation out mm -hmm. adorbs oh so I got a little bit of time before I gotta head into work so figured I'd get my favorite breakfast item Dunkin Donuts Ooh, one one ketchup packet for okay that's what's up <laughs> guess we're gonna have dry hash browns today but at least they cooked and it's always so dang on hot jesus but i love it like this is it seems like this is the only place that like literally that serves hot food like right out the window you know Mm-hmm. Because honestly, I'm sick of starving and having to wait until lunchtime to eat. Because I already know, too, if I, um, if I eat normal breakfast times, I get sick. Always been me. Can't seem to keep it down. Not like a nauseous way, but my stomach hurts. I'm not trying to be in that turmoil every day, all day. When I was looking for apartments, I was looking at it as what is the most aesthetically pleasing for the money. And it's like, everywhere is unreasonable for rent right now. Just keeping it a bane, especially in this area. So I had to weigh the pros and cons like I had to consider are is the staff nice to you and attentive to your needs is it a quiet area can I make videos in comfort sort of thing does it not have mold you know all of that I couldn't stand anybody living above me anymore with the stomping and so forth. So 
it's just that was a key factor for me trying to find a place like that just the biggest con for me is just downsizing like since it's an open concept like it's the same square footage but it's just set up differently right totally fine with that because I really don't plan on you know staying there too much like for an extended period of time because like I said I told y'all I'm on the journey to either getting an RV or not paying rent anymore so that way I can get a house we are trying to move forward because I did ask about who my neighbors are because I'm not dealing with the whole dog hoopling holler no not dealing with the loudness or whatever no the big thing for me i just need to see my stuff in there you know because with model apartments you can see the decor and the ideas and whatever but i need to just get my stuff in there and make it home i did feel like it was mine <clears throat> in some places you know you just kind of know you know and this is just one of them cases it's just the overall just the nerves of moving is a thing right now because I'm leaving such a comforted place right now but we're going to make it comfortable there i'm gonna finish this food and get to work now this is the end for now of the moving part now we're gonna get into some fun because i'm taking a vacation before i move i told you the rule of thumb if you didn't see my shorts on my shorts you would know that my new rule of thumb is if i'm if i just went through something super stressful shortly after i'm taking a vacation or if something big or you know something good happens I'm taking vacation before so that way you could just mold into goodness upon goodness and release with stress prioritizing me because I haven't done that in years so I don't know how I'm gonna do it I always say that I really don't know how I'll be doing certain stuff Cause your girl be battling poverty line for real, for real. Be realistic with you. So what? Let me get this done. Bye. Since it's still like cold in the morning and evening, I'm gonna pack some warmer clothes and then just change how I see fit. Because your girl is still cold, so I'm just gonna do some black pants and a cropped hoodie, possibly to pack, and then a sweater dress. Just looks like that. Because one thing with packing, too, I like to pack things that usually don't wrinkle because that just saves me on time. Like, I have a steamer and stuff like that, but. When you're on the go with these type of vacations it's just and that's the thing too let me know your preference i don't know why i'm out of breath probably because i'm moving these to you know get situated and pick out some stuff because i haven't changed my wardrobe yet what is your preference when it comes to relaxing vacations versus on the go having fun 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 vacations because this is going to be like on a go, we're going to be, you know, it may not look like it. It may be relaxing, but to get to the relaxation, you got to go. So we'll see. I end up like on hikes somewhere and I'm not dressed like I'm supposed to be. I don't even have a backpack, nothing. I don't know how I end up in these situations. It just is what it is. It's me. I have no clue how sunny it's going to be. And I don't even know if my head can handle this with the curls now, but oh well. 
is my sun hat and I need to let this breathe a little bit get unfolded oh you know what better yet because I have the curls out I have a second option don't tell you I ain't peep you on or nothing I promise you hold on girl what even though you can't get the vision Just not with this dress or whatever, but you see it. You see it, okay? That's what we're doing. It's real, <laughs> it's real floppy right now. But we gonna situate, we gonna lay it out. We gonna do what we gotta do, put it in the heat. I don't care what we gotta do, okay? You see the vision, okay. And the reason why I thought this was neat was because in any beach bag, if you're tired of wearing it or it's not hot yet and then you want to put it on later, it just rolls up like that. There you go. So it's an option. I might like it's July. Ma'am. Anyway, my pillows and my bedding as well because, again, I don't know what these people be washing they sheets with but apparently in most cases I'm allergic to it I get you know the itchies or whatever and I don't like that so I'm gonna carry just in case that's why I pack light because I got bedding yeah for extra coverage too just a crop denim jacket and a shawl some white baby with the curls out we'll see I call this my moo moo Cause it's super large you don't got to worry about it it got pockets i could wear it as a nightgown or just stepping out real quick i don't know flowy dress for dinner possibly or the winery two-piece set this is my go-to vacation outfit so might as well bring it right and then one honorable mention this knit dress very long really complements my body so again why not options i'm an options girl is what it is and i need to wear pants because again to sleep because I just allergic so and it's probably not all places either it's just that's been my experience as of lately so I think it's the starch or whatever they use because I don't stay in janky places why is it so hot in here Golly. I have to fold up laundry all that good jazz and put the bins up and everything so I will see you when it's actual fun time I was going to make a show to <laughs> y'all tell me got the Don King going on in, in the front swoop it's okay I'm about to get wing stop and call it a night but I will see you tomorrow when the vacation truly commences okay bye Right.
So, yeah, so, yeah. But it's all spiritual, you know what I mean? I was going to say about the numbers do lie. Let's keep it a buck. Niggas got phones that are somewhere in a garage just churning numbers. Mm -hmm. So numbers do lie. Mm -hmm. But like you got it's I'm feeling to be like I was in another country and I'm hearing cheers at the bar. I'm like, oh that's dope. <laughs> It's in there, like the, I'm like, wow, this is crazy. And you know, come on, victory lap is yeah, it's victory lap. Mm -hmm. It is. He's um, you got the spicy, in 15, and then he got sweet the combo. Okay, Little thing food. known about me, I do not eat breakfast right, unless I'm on vacation. Oh. It's a rare case. Jay Valentine, a lot of shit. I don't eat breakfast, like I said, unless I'm on vacation or I got days off. And I remember last time I made breakfast. Because I'm the lunch and dinner queen. I got the breakfast king. It's balanced. You know what I'm saying? Next clip is going to be probably me zipping through the vineyards. I love do. See you then. I literally had that moment where I was like, oh, okay. I got I to go get some work. Gonna finish this off to start the festivities. It's Ansec Cognac, 80% alcohol. Just in case you want to oblige yourself and get you a bottle. This is real random too. I have a insulated wine cooler. And I'm just gonna cool it for a little bit because on the inside, I have these miniature things, Dollar Tree, if you have one local. But I thrifted this. Well, I didn't thrift it, my mom found it. But on the inside, as you can see, is a cooler. So I'm gonna pop this in the freezer real quick. So I could take it on the go. table humanly possible away from everybody else because we are an extroverted introvert right right gonna get a menu see what wine they got equipped with the fan because i'm not playing it's only in the 70s but it feels like 90 probably because the there's no cloud coverage so it's a lot better from the cloudy, rainy day coming in yesterday. So I take this any day. I ain't got no sunscreen, so hopefully I don't peel. The hair is out, so the wool is out, so it's an extra 15 degrees hotter to me. It's fine. 
Got the old pappies out for the uh the wads of cash, like no, that type of winery. You feel me? Fancy. I got the actress on the eye. It's real nice. So we'll see how extensive this menu is and get started. I'm probably gonna need some water because the girl gonna be dehydrated by the end of the day. This scenery may look a little familiar if you don't know I shot my book cover here actually over in that corner but we're here to get some food because I am hungry and we will get a couple entrees don't judge me judge me okay it is what it is not gonna get any drinks here because we had a whole bottle one, two cups. Okay. Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> yeah, over in that corner, because I like to jig in my corner in peace. That's where I took my second book cover. Because it's just isolated from everybody else. So that's so why I liked it and just had the privacy of shooting. So over yonder right as you can see right over yonder is a distillery where they have cognacs bourbon whiskey all that sort of thing next door is another winery well i tell you we are in wine country we're doing the thing so just gonna enjoy the moments here get a little camera footage here and there but other than that this is day two of vacation. How do you want to go in here? Why not? It's, <laughs> it's twelve dollars for cocktails. No, we're just gonna look at it. We're just gonna look and walk out. <laughs> you don't want to? Okay. You see the vibes. Look, look at the backdrop. You can't tell me that I'm not living my best life right now. Look. Do you see all the blue and the greenery? Hello, combination, superb, okay? <sighs> Given that we're doing a little cheap situation and we copping mad lean too, just so you know. So if the camera crooked, all well. Boom, I tell you this thing. Mind you, these look like baby shots, right? Not when it's 100 proof, 100% alcohol. Mm -hmm. got the water because they know they finna mess you up they already know and it's four of them mind you originally it's five because the maple they're out because it's very good and it does taste like maple syrup but it catches you up you know Ooh, that thing strong honey because if you remember with the last vlog that i was here probably a year ago now i said i need to sit my ass 
cool 30 minutes because ain't no way. Mm -mm. And I didn't even have water. They supplied the water this time, so that's cool. Got a little dish or whatever, so gonna try it. I don't know which ones I want right now. I'm contemplating life with these drinks, but we don't get it together, okay? I don't know what I want. I d the color of the vodka isn't as clear as you would think. It has a yellow tint. So when it comes to mixing, it shouldn't be that bad. But you just never know. To me, this has a maple component to it. Really nice. Maple, not maple. The bourbon, to me, very nutty. You know what I'm saying? It just, ooh, it makes you want to do that. Ooh. I'll tell you that thing strong. It's so strong. <laughs> It'll make sense how strong that is. Like, it, it's a burn. You could tell that it's been in a barrel. You could taste the barrel. And that burn, that aftermath, oh my God. <laughs> but it's so good. Like you, you can feel the prickliness. I don't even want to try the rest of these on camera. <laughs> because this, this is going to be trouble. And I'm going to need again to sit my ass down. So I pick up the camera again. Just not mag the dang on fool. Disclaimer. I'm acting up. You want to see me frolicking? Back over there. Yep. Okay. Let me get my big girl pants on and get these done. <laughs> I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a good time. Okay, bye. <laughs>
and when I tell you so far it has been I don't want to say life-changing because that's just a grandiose thing that I normally don't like to say but it's definitely been always it has been an experience so far that I have been enjoying so this next chapter begins hopefully the next vlog is another travel vlog hopefully again I don't know after I just did all that I just did I don't know how I'm, I I don't know how I do what I do I really don't is that me being irresponsible or just me understanding that just life is too short to be locked in a cage at work at most times and just prioritizing me it, it's to that point so as y'all can see the bags is prominent today but that's just because i've been ripping and running and so far ever since i got back from vacation so we're ripping and running but for fun purposes hopefully for the rest of the summer so you're gonna see that rolled out but i'm gonna go and just enjoy the rest of the day because when i tell you my back and my feet are absolutely just out for the count i'm gonna do some self-care so until the next video i hope you enjoyed all the hoopla and the food because one thing i did do on that vacation is drink and have some food it was a time till the next one take care expose listen i'm gonna be like this you know you, you catch the drift but the girls is going to be okay hold on get the vision You just gotta be you and let me do my thing as a cameraman. I know the best views and angles. I need the alcohol to get warm.